He always said he's better on his bike than his own two feet. Remember him saying, because he was always tripping and stuff. And he goes, I'm better on two wheels than two feet. And it's just a whole comfort. It's, it's a part of him. He was two, and at that time he had training wheels, and then I was over at this friend's house, and her little boy's a little older, and was just learning how to ride two-wheeler without training wheels. All of a sudden I look out the window, and there's Steven. No training wheels at two. And it started there, and he was just always riding, always had a bike, and I guess he was um, around six-ish when um, we met up with a friend, Bill, and he built him a BMX bike. Yeah, my grandmother, uh worked with a lady and her husband was a bike collector and, and um, he really liked my grandma's pies so he agreed to do a trade. I think it was a year of worth of pie or something like that and I got a BMX bike out of a free agent. He was a little bit older then he started the BMX racing and so we started that sort of scene and race, race, race continually pretty much. I guess he was around 12 and got to the point around here he couldn't lose and he got bored. That's when we tried mountain biking, which at the time I didn't realize mountain biking wasn't for kids. And people going, did you see that little guy? He's just crazy. And he was doing drops, just playing around. And they were watching him, and that's kind of where it started. We were able to do uh, BC Cups, and, and it was those races that, that got me noticed and you know, wouldn't get noticed just racing island, island Cups. And so we would travel around and go to all the races that we, you know, we could get to. Yeah, so it was just like pull everything we could together and we just went and did it. Take one, three hands and go on for Steve! Time, weather, and... Come on, wait! What's special about the island? I don't know. It's, um, it's just, it's open. There's, you know, it's pretty limitless for activity. I like staying busy outside and being in the forest and as a kid growing up where I grew up I was able to just hop on my motorbike, ride out of the house and go explore. Provo is definitely the reason why like, I can be as fast as I am. Like I really believe in those trails and, and I've just spent a lot of time there. There's six downhill trails there, but I remember when I first started riding there, it was just slow, you know, like kind of awkward turns with trees in them. And, and just to see over the years with all of us doing little bits of work here and there and putting more trail in and, and really progressing the, the style of downhill those trails are there. Yeah, the cool thing about the Mount Provo area, like yeah, that's where uh, Mark Wallace, my buddy slash teammate lives right there. And within 10 minutes, there's three amazing hills and all sorts of good riding. So it's a pretty unique area. Yeah, riding with Steve is, it's always fun and always interesting. He's always trying to push himself and usually pushes me quite a bit too. And it's cool him being at the top of the sport where I'm trying to get to and just being able to see what he does and how he's done it. It's always impressed me like how he can just look at something on a trail and be like, yeah, I think I can jump from here to there and just first try, no problem, get it. And it's like something that was never in mind when the jump was built and he just kind of saw it in a different way and made it work.
everybody knows he's super nice and hardworking for sure. Just he loves to ride his bike. That's maybe like can't um, stress that enough that he just just wants to ride his bike. It's tough to you know with, when you've won races before and when you're only goal is against yourself always just to do better than you have in the past. It's tough. I've had four World Cup wins and lots of podiums and stuff and two World Champs podiums so to not have a gold obviously that's a pretty big one on my wish list and feel like I could die a happy person if I could be World Champion as well. But goals in general like it's still I just want to go do well at races. I want to yeah just always want to do good. It doesn't matter whether I'm racing a free lap solo time of the day like I just want to go do good at racing. It's undescribable. This is a dream come true. This has been the most pressure I've ever had in my entire life, and I knew uh, being the World Cup overall, it was in contentions, and I was so pumped to come away with a win.